everybody, it's Rose. And today we are going to be looking at my phone screen while I walk you through how I track my orders of diamond paintings and stuff. Because I don't just track my diamond painting orders, I track my Costco orders, I track all sorts of stuff. Uh, and I track it using an app called Track Checker Mobile. And uh, so here uh, is just a list of all of the um, things that I'm tracking right now. So you can see I've got a bunch of things from GBFKE, AliExpress, Costco. Now Costco, it's showing as untracked there on the screen uh, because um, I'm not actually using this app to track the code that I ordered. I'm using this app to remember that I ordered a coat uh, so that I don't lose sight of that. Um, and there are a few other things like I've got a Your Best Deals order that was confirmed for me uh, by the woman that I deal with at Your Best Deals and she gave me the order number. Um, I haven't yet received the tracking number for it, but as soon as I place an order with anybody, Amazon, AliExpress, New Homey, Your Best Deals, Staples, any place that I make an online order, I immediately add the track into my mobile tracker. So, um, and it keeps track for me of, you know, when I place the order. So, um, I think what I'll start with is just showing you how I actually add an item. So I just go down at the bottom of the screen, just above the ad, uh, because I don't pay for this. Um, I think there's a paid version. I can't remember. I don't bother paying for apps if I can help it. Okay, so I hit the plus button, and then I have a bunch of different uh, fields to fill out. The first one that I always fill out is the description. And so here I enter a short description. So for example, uh, if I was ordering a diamond painting, or if I had just ordered, uh, let's say, four diamond paintings from um, the ABC Diamond Painting Store, let's say the order number that they gave me was X1, uh, I would write A, B, C, and their tracking number X1. Um, and then I would put, let's say, I can't remember how many DPs I said I had ordered, so I'm going to say four DPs. And then just so that I can keep track of which DPs, because I number all of my diamond paintings, I would write uh, the inventory number that I assigned them because, and we'll get into this in another uh, video, but um, when I, as soon as I place an order, I add every single one of the items in that order to my spreadsheet. And in my spreadsheet, I assign a um, an inventory number to the diamond painting. Uh, so uh, let's just say that these are my first diamond paintings that I'm tracking. So I would call them 001 to 004. Um, and just because um, I also usually will put in the day that I ordered them. So today is December 1st. And that just kind of lets me know if I haven't heard from somebody in a certain amount of time. Um, I can go back in and say, hmm, I ordered that December 1st. It's now whatever, you know, January 3rd, and I still haven't received it. I don't have a tracking number yet, yada, yada. I need to get in touch with the company. Um, so you can put whatever information you want here. There's also a comments field that, uh, that you can put whatever comments you want in. And so, for example, um, you can, you can 
just write, you know, these are for grandma. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I'm making it up, you guys. Uh, just in case, you know, you want to keep track of what this stuff is for or, you know, socks for David or whatever. Um, and then if you want to enter a website where you bought those items, you can do that here. So, you know, let's say uh, it was uh, abcdps.com. I'm making this up, okay? But this would allow you to just click on that link later and go directly to that website. I never include the URL because I have the URL in my spreadsheet. And so if I ever need to, you know, check on an order, I just go in uh, through the spreadsheet. Okay, so now I have a created um, tracker. And the next thing that I can do is, whoops, the next thing I can do, <laughs> okay, I need to move this. This is the screen recorder. Um, is um, set up postal services. So I already have a whole bunch of postal services that I have set up so that they have over 740 different postal services throughout the world that, um, that you can choose from. I have selected a bunch of them to be my defaults. Okay, so uh, I actually forgot to save before I did other stuff and then I backed out and then I lost everything. So I've recreated the information here, I think, more or less the way it was before. It doesn't really matter. So I put in the description which tells me what it is that I've ordered and you can add comments. You don't have to add comments. The only thing you need to add at the very beginning is the description so that you know what it is that you're getting. Uh, you might want to put the order number in there. Um, you know, for AliExpress, they're very long order numbers, so I usually don't put them in there. I just say, you know, what it's for and the store name, for example. Okay, and then you hit the Save button. So that has added this item to the top of my list. It shows that it's been on my list for less than a day, and that 60 days, uh, I set that as the time that um, AliExpress will normally deliver within. So after 60 days, if I have something that has not been delivered after 60 days, then I know that um, I need to follow up. Maybe not immediately, because now I think AliExpress, uh, since COVID started, they're, uh, they're allowing 70, 75 days, I think, for shipment uh, from the time that something actually ships. So you can change that. But essentially, this shows that I've had this item in my tracker, whoops, for less than a day. Um, so let's say I then get an item. So I clicked on it, and then the name of the item appears up in the top of my screen, okay? And um, it's showing as untracked. Well, maybe what I want to do is uh, add a tracking number because now uh, I got an email from the company saying we've shipped your item and here's your tracking number. So what I do is I go in and I enter the tracking number. Now what I normally do is copy and paste the tracking number either from the website or from the email that they sent it that they sent to me that includes the tracking number and I just paste it in here. OK, uh, because I don't want to be making mistakes and start tracking somebody else's package. Uh, and the best way to avoid making mistakes is to copy and paste. But since this is just a fictitious tracking number, I'm going to just put anything in. So one, two, three, four, well, one, two, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, well, whatever, 11, 22, whatever. So, um, so I put in a tracking number and I'm going to save again before I forget. So now it has not just the item, but the tracking number. And here 
it lists all the services that I have set to automatically track. So I'm in Canada, so I have Canada Post, I have Intelcom, I don't know why, because I don't know why. Uh, I think it's for Amazon packages. China Post, because AliExpress. Uh, AliExpress Shipping, because AliExpress. And Yanwen, because AliExpress. I also have it uh, set to automatically track from 17 track. Um, just in case. I don't know why. I just do that. You don't have to do that, but I do. Um, and if, let's say, you're ordering something and you know it's going to be delivered by UPS, you just go into Edit. You go into Postal Services. Uh, it shows you which ones are automatically tracked. And then you just edit, add in, let's say, UPS. And then it gives you all of the UPS options. So I'm just going to make up one uh, UPS US. Um, yeah, I'm just going to add that one because why not? I'm making this up. And again, I'm going to save it. So now you can see that UPS has been added to the list. If you want to add another one, another tracker, because let's say you're not sure if they're going to send it FedEx or UPS, again, go up to Postal Services in the top, type FedEx uh, in the um, search bar, and it'll pull up all of the FedEx. So let's just do let's just do regular FedEx. And again, we save it. And so now it's tracking um, all of the, the base ones that I've got, the, the standard ones that I use, uh, because most of the things I order come from one of the, you know, they're tracked by one of the first six or whatever. But I'm also tracking this parcel through FedEx and UPS. Okay, so I've done that. Um, now, how do I know if something has been ordered. Now, I'm going to do this, but it's likely that nothing's going to happen because it probably would have happened already, and it's Saturday as I'm recording this. So you just pull down, swipe down on the screen, and you see all those boxes turning? That is for all of the items that you have got a tracking number for it will um, check the status of your item. And it's still checking. Yeah, I ordered some reusable tape um, from AliExpress, which I'm very eager to get. I've actually ordered two. Uh, reusable tapes because if it works it's going to be like the most fantastic thing ever for hanging diamond paintings if it doesn't work then i've got like tons of reusable tape that i'm going to have to find a use for oh well um that's life uh so it doesn't look like it's going to update anything because it automatically updates every 10 minutes or something like that and or every hour anyway and so uh, what it does is it goes through all of the items that you've got in your list that have a tracking number and they um, check to see whether it has progressed on its um, on its journey to you so let's open one that uh, has come to me uh, so let's just take a look at this new homey order uh, of eight items. Um, so I don't care about the services. Um, under events, it will actually give me all kinds of information. So because this is um, a Canada Post tracking number that new homey uses for shipments to me, um, like wherever you live, if you're not in Canada, they'll probably use your postal service tracking number. Um, but they used a Canada Post tracking number. And so uh, what happens is I added this item on November 4th to my tracker because that's when I ordered it. And then 
what they do is um, as soon as it comes to Canada, that's when Canada Post starts tracking it. So from November 4th to November to December 1st, I had no idea what the status of this was, except that they had issued a tracking number for it. Um, on January 1st or on December 1st, that's when it arrived in Canada and was released by customs. So usually the first thing that I see is either item was released by customs and is now with Canada Post or uh, item has been provided to customs. And then it tells you the progress of that item every step of the way after that. Okay, so it was processed in Mississauga uh, on the 10th and something else, uh, it left Mississauga on the 10th, which was two days ago. So I expect that this will arrive in my hot little hands either on Monday or Tuesday of this week, depending on how busy um, the Canada Post uh, is here in Ottawa. And assuming that they don't mess it up and send it to another location, because sometimes it's very rare, but every now and again, one of my parcels gets shipped to some other place in Canada, and then I have to wait longer while it gets back to me. So let's track something else. Let's just take a look at something else. Um, well, let's track this item from uh, AliExpress. So this is the first order of reusable tape that I placed. So um, again, the services are just the standard services that I use to track everything. When they do the update, they'll check those services to see whether you know they have any information on this order, but they won't have it if it's you know not shipped through Yanwen, for example. Okay, so um, so here are the items. So the day that I added this was October fifteenth, um, and then they have uh, all of the items. Uh, like all of the steps along the way. And as you see, because a lot of these are China, like China-based uh, services, uh, it's in Chinese. What are you going to do about that? Well, you can translate it. If you click on it, it gives you the Google translation. So this one is when Zhu received and sent soliciting invest, whatever. I have no idea what that is. Uh, but I'm going to copy that and just go back. And I long press on that item and I say paste translation. And so now I have the translation. Uh, so let's see, let's find another uh, Chinese description here somewhere. Okay, so down here on November 13th, there's something else happening in, in China. So airline receiving, I click the translate and I put it back in there, paste. Okay. Um, and it looks like I already checked that. So um, let's see what this last item is. Plane arrives. Like they're very detailed about the status of where things are at. So let's just paste translation. There we go. Um, so then, so this thing was shipped, or I ordered it on the 5th, I think the 15th. Yeah, the 15th, and uh, it departed China on uh, November 27th, so almost a month and a half later. And then the next thing I get is when it arrived uh, in Toronto. And um, because I'm tracking both through uh, China CNO and China, um, I get double entries for almost everything. You can keep track of the status of every little thing. So the other thing that you can keep track of, uh, and again with this reusable tape, is that it's 58 days since I ordered it. So what I could do is, um, let's just go into this again. I could go in and change the date to uh, let's say 1016, because 1016 is when the count really starts. That's when they shipped. Okay, so I'm going to edit. Let's see. Update events. Add new event. Share. Set. To, no, I don't want to do any of that. I want to edit this. And what I want to do is I want to change the alert date. 
So the start date was November or October 15th, and they actually uh, shipped it on November on October 16th. And AliExpress has a 75 days. So I'm going to save that. And now um, it's still in the green zone because they have 75 days to get it to me. As soon as it gets to, I don't know, I can't remember when, but at some point this is going to turn yellow and then it's going to turn red. And when it turns yellow, that's when I start paying attention to, hmm, are they, like, am I going to have to ask for a refund? And at 70, when it reaches 75 days, then I go back into AliExpress to the order and I uh, open a dispute and ask for my money back because they haven't shipped it to me. Now, this one here has already arrived in Toronto. Uh, so, like, I know it's only about three working days, maybe four or five working days away from getting to me. So I know I'm going to receive this thing. Um, but if this was still showing as being in China, now I would start thinking, hmm, I think the parcel might have been lost. And so when 75 days comes up, I would enter a dispute in AliExpress. And the next time I have an item that I need to dispute in AliExpress, uh, because it hasn't arrived by the time it should, I'll record a video showing you how to do that. But I'm not going to get into that today. All right. So that's pretty much it. Now, uh, once... You get an order. Let me just find something. Let me just look at my archived here. And okay, here's one. So I'm going to delete this item, uh, the, the delivery. And so we're just going to pretend that this item, UBD 1533, um, and I'm going to mark it as mark is not delivered. Okay, so this now shows up again in my list as not having been delivered. So I'm going to open it and I'm going to say, I'm going to see what the status of this one is. And so I just pull down and it does its thing. And then whenever you get a new status on, a, on one of your parcels, it comes up in yellow bold. Whoops. And you can see exactly what happened to it. So as soon as you click on it, it stops being bold. When it's delivered to me, I mark it as um, delivered. Uh, this is automatically marked as delivered. And now when I back out of this, that UBD 1533 now shows as an open box and it's gray because it's in the archive. And so if I go back into here and hide all my archived ones, all that's left is just the items that uh, I'm still waiting for. And so that essentially is Track Checker Mobile. And so this you can use on Android, and they also have a version that you can uh, download to a Windows PC. Um, going to the About. So the, um, the website is here at the bottom of your screen. Uh, it is uh, https colon slash slash site dot track checker dot ru slash en. And if we click on that, it takes you to the website, it, which provides you with all kinds of information, gives you the information about Android, uh, and allows you to install it if you want, and also allows you to download the application for uh, Windows. Uh, so if you are using an Apple device, this is not the app for you. You would need to use a different app. And there are good apps for uh, Mac or iPhone or iPad. And all you need to do is just uh, type tracker app iOS or iPad or, you know, Apple, whatever. Um, and you will get a whole bunch of suggestions and there will be, in fact, one of the articles that I looked at today was, you know, best tracker apps for 
iOS. And so, um, so you can get uh, recommendations from um, different sources uh, for the best tracker app for you. Um, so just for those of you who are Android users, uh, we'll just take a quick look here at um, some of the information about this. So it supports over 580 different postal services, including international courier services and e-commerce carriers. Um, it supports auto detection of the carrier. That's important because sometimes you get a tracking number and you don't actually know who the carrier will be, right? So if I get a number that starts with 102, I kind of know that that's going to be a Canada Post tracking number. But sometimes I don't know. Uh, and so I, I like the fact that Track Checker Mobile will check and it knows who the carrier for your package will be based on the, the number, the tracking number. Uh, and, um, well, I showed you the six of the mail services that I have in as standard. Uh, you can put up to 10 in as standard. Um, and so I showed you the multilingual interface, uh, the day counter for in transit, um, the counter for days before the end of order protection, I showed you that. Uh, the archive of tracks, oh, there's a barcode generator uh, in case you want to receive parcels in the post office. So if you get a notification that it's at your post office, ready for pickup, um, you can generate a barcode. And let me show you how that's done. All right, so... This is a Canada Post tracking number. So I'm just going to say barcode. That's the barcode. You show them that at the post office when you when you get notification that your parcel was delivered. They scan it. Bing. They pull up your parcel right away. Um, what's this? Oh, you can actually open up the tracker on a different website if you want. I never do that, uh, which is why I didn't know uh, what that was. Um, and you can also use this uh, three dots to update your events. So what it's doing is it's just checking, you know, to see what the status of this is. Um, you can also uh, add a new event through this three dot system. You can share this information. Like if you're tracking a parcel, and I do this all the time, if I'm tracking a parcel that I am having shipped to my daughter or my stepmother or my sister-in-law or something like that, then I just click the share button and it gives you the choice of how to share it. You choose, uh, let's choose Google, and uh, it automatic, like it creates an email for you that, uh, that includes all of the relevant information for that track. And uh, you can just send it to somebody so that they know exactly what status the parcel that is arriving at their place is at. Uh, so I'll, I'll do that for my daughter, for example, if I'm having something shipped to her and it's like, oh, it's, uh, it's, it's been delivered. So I would just click that share button, send it to her. I would send it by text message, but you know, you could send it by pretty much all of those other services that were available. And then she knows. Uh, you can copy the track number to your clipboard if you want to for any reason. Um, delete track is one that I'll show you uh, for that item. Actually, let's do it now. So this ABC X1 uh, that I created, that's just a fake one, so I'm just going to delete it. It'll check. Do you really want to delete the track? And I say yes, and it's gone. Um, I also, when I go into my archive, um, every few months I'll go in and, um, and I'll delete, uh, some of the things. So, I mean, this is from 2019 for crying out loud. It's, it's, you know, two diamond paintings that I ordered. Oh, and I had this shipped to me when I was in London. Uh, I don't need to keep this anymore. I could just go in, I could click delete the track. It'll check. Do I really want to delete the track? 
If I do, then I say yes. If I say, ooh, I don't want to delete that, I hit cancel. And it's still there in my archive. And you can hide your archive just simply by um, clicking the radio button. Okay. Um, so now these are just the ones that I'm waiting for. And I think, my friends, that that is pretty much it. I don't know if there's anything else. Oh, this is one that I'm really concerned about. Um, this is an AliExpress order that I made on November 11th for uh, different sizes of uh, poster hangers. They have not yet shipped that. It's been over 31 days and it still hasn't been shipped. So every few days I go into AliExpress and I extend the time that they allow for shipping because if I don't, they automatically cancel the order and will refund me my money. I don't want my money refunded. I got a good deal on those poster hangers and I want those poster hangers. So I'm willing to wait for them to ship them. Although I'm starting to think that they're never going to ship them. And if they haven't shipped them by January, then I've already found another alternative and I'll order them and, um, and we'll try this again. Okay, so I think that's just about it. It's kind of a long and rambling uh, how-to video, but I hope that it's been helpful to you and I hope that it'll help you decide whether to use an app like this to track your packages. I think it's fantastic. Um, and so, like, I highly recommend this. I've been using it now for almost two years, I'd say, and I just love it. It does it for me. Um, now, I'm not going to say that I don't use other tracking apps, because I do. And some of the other tracking apps that I use are, for example, Shop, uh, which reads my emails and anything that says it's, you know, uh, it's an item that has a tracking number attached to it, Shop automatically picks it up from my email and creates an item here. But if you've ordered from a company that doesn't send an email confirmation of an order with an order number and tracking information, then Shop will never pick it up. Uh, so for example, AliExpress you don't get an email confirmation that you've placed an order or that you know there's a tracking number that's been assigned. So Shop would never pick that up. Um, so that's why you know it's nice to have a couple of things. I also have the Canada Post tracking app and with Canada Post um, you can also um, keep track of anything that's got a Canada Post number uh, I'm sure USPS has exactly the same thing, and um, there are many, many mail tracking apps out there. USPS has it, FedEx has it, you name it. But if you want to consolidate all of your tracking in a single app, then the one that I would suggest for Android users is Track Checker Mobile. And uh, I think it's just fantastic. I love it. I have no complaints about it whatsoever. The more I use this thing, the more I love it. That's it for today, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave me comments down below. If there was anything that's really unclear, let me know. And um, I'll answer any questions about this in a drill and chat video that I plan on recording this week. Okay? So that's it, everyone. Um... Take care, have a great weekend, and I will be back with you again tomorrow with another diamond painting video. In the meantime, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that, and consider becoming a patron uh, and supporting my channel through a modest contribution. Thanks very much. Bye-bye for now.